We have learned how to use a morph transition with words that transform one word into another from one slide to another. But what if you could take this sort of transition and make it happen with individual characters within words rather than the entire word itself? Let's try this again. Yeah. Would that be even useful or would it just be something you do for fun? We leave you to be the judge to decide whether there is a need for such an effect or you just want to go ahead and do it because it is possible to do so. Without further ado, let's get started. To make such effects happen, not only do you need the capability within PowerPoint to create a transition effect between characters, but you also need the content to make it happen. In other words, you need a bunch of characters that make words, but those words must be different and yet contain the same individual characters. If you have played with anagrams before, you know that there are two or more words that contain the same characters. For example, eight, eat and tea all contain the same individual characters. But no effect really happened now because we haven't used the morph transition with characters here. Let's go ahead and select these three slides, get to the transition tab of the ribbon, choose morph, go to effect options and choose the character option and see what happens now. Can you see what happens? So anagrams are what you need to create a morph transition effect between characters. Now look at these two slides we added. This is the first slide and this is the second slide. The first slide has seven words and the second slide also has seven words. And these are actually pairs or rather anagram pairs. If you go and look at the first slide again, the first word that we've used is buffer. And the word on the same position on the second slide is rebuff. They use the same individual characters, and that's true with the anagram pairs of the two other two and on the two slides as well, which is the remaining words here and the remaining words highlighted here. Now let us go and add the morph transition effect to the second of these two slides. To do so, we again access the transition tab of the ribbon. We then click the morph effect over here and then we go and click the effect options button to get a drop down list and within this drop down list we choose the characters option. To see how that works it actually gives you a preview straight away but we can go ahead and play it and see how it works. This is the first slide and when I move to the second slide you will see the morph transition effect taking place with the characters option. So as you can see the character, individual characters moved, no character was lost, no character was gained, but we ended up with a pretty nice transition effect there. You can achieve a more spectacular character movement effect if you have more words as you can see in these two slides. This is the first slide and this is the second one. We have already added the morph transition effect and we have also selected the characters option here within the effect options drop down list. As you can see this might look much more amazing. Let's go ahead and play it. This is our first slide and this is our second slide. If you want to see it with a larger bigger impact you can actually go and change the duration of the transition. It's set to two seconds here. I'm just going to go and increase that to something like five seconds and now let's go ahead and play it. Isn't that fun? So as you can see there are so many options that you can play with while using the morph transition effect. If you like this technique, do subscribe to the InDesign channel and also like this post. Also there is a link to the slides we use for this tutorial on the YouTube page for this video. We have many more tutorial videos and hope to see you soon. Have a momentous day. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign. Make better presentations. Fast.